As I'm sure you're all aware by now, Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming out this fall, and I thought I'd make a little video going over some of my predictions and wants for the game, sorta like I did for the Final Horizon. This won't be a super long video, I gotta get back to playing Persona 3 Reload, and of course, everything in this video is just speculation, besides the obvious things that we can see in the reveal trailer, so anything that I say in this video could be completely wrong. But regardless, going over new Sonic stuff is always fun, especially when it's something this big. So let's jump right into it. The first major thing to go over here is that this game is unfortunately just Sonic Generations again. I say unfortunately, not because Generations is a bad game or anything, but it is a Sonic game that is already playable on everything except, I think, PlayStation and Switch? Correct me if I'm wrong there. So I guess it wasn't the worst thing they could have ported, but still, there are definitely other games that I would have liked to see remade or remastered, or heck, even just ported. So hopefully those are coming in the near future. And with this new release coming to PC as well, that probably means that the original Sonic Generations will end up being delisted from places like Steam, which would be a huge issue for mod creators and people that want to use those mods in the future. I've already gone over a few mods on my channel before, one of those being one of the best mods for any Sonic game ever, The Unleashed Project, which of course, is a mod for Sonic Generations on PC. Now if you already have Generations on PC, then you can still download and play these mods that exist, but anyone in the future wouldn't be able to. And that also means that mod support would be split between two versions of the same game, which is both confusing and just unnecessary. So, above all else when it comes to my wants for this game, I really hope that the original Sonic Generations doesn't get delisted from Steam. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the actual stuff shown off in the trailer, yeah? The first 20 seconds of the trailer is just showing off old Generations footage, since you'll still be getting the base game with this new release. And Generations is a great game, a top 5 favorite for me personally, so even if the new Shadow stuff included here isn't all that great, at least the base game should be able to stand on its own as something fun, and worth your money. As long as they don't change the physics or anything, that is. Unless maybe if it's for classic Sonic? But then again, knowing Sonic Team, they'd probably just make it worse, so... Regardless though, this game should at least be mostly good all the way through, and I can recommend it based on that fact alone, just as long as the price isn't absurd. I'd say my cutoff for this would probably be the $40 to $50 range, and even $50 is pushing it a bit. Sonic Generations right now is only $20 on both Steam and Xbox, and it's usually on sale, so if they try selling this game at $60 or even an insane $70, then yeah, probably wait for a price drop on it, or just buy the original game, as long as it isn't delisted. Aside from the price though, I'd be pretty happy if some more additions were also made to the base game of Sonic Generations, like maybe a new set of stages for Lost World, Forces, and Frontiers. Although that's purely speculation, since the only new stuff we've seen so far is of Shadow, but who knows? Maybe they might add at least another boss or some additional challenges, anything really I'd be happy with, but we'll just have to wait and see how the actual Sonic part of this game pans out in the future. Moving on to the good stuff though, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited for Shadow's portion of this game. I doubt it'll be as expansive or long as Sonic's, but as long as there's at least three levels and a boss or two to go along with it, I'd be pretty happy. I feel like I should keep my expectations in check here, since we really don't know much at all what's gonna be in this part of the game yet, but Sonic Team themselves is supposedly working on this game, so maybe I should have higher expectations. I don't really know. You can kinda tell just by looking at the gameplay here though, that the shadow levels are definitely being made in the same style that was used in Frontiers and Forces, at least visually. Not really sure how well they'll be gameplay wise, good is obviously what I'm hoping for, but we only get a couple seconds of gameplay here, so I don't really want to judge it off of that alone. I've seen a few people saying that these levels don't look very fun to play, and that's fine I guess, but we literally only have a few seconds of actual gameplay from the levels here, and I don't want to be out here claiming that they'll be great in the end, but I'd say, at least give them a chance first. Again, I don't know whether they'll be good or not, there's just not enough of them shown for me to go off of yet, so maybe let's wait a bit until we see some more before we start making final judgments. Sound good? Cool. As for the story section here, we know that Black Doom is the main force of evil here in Shadow's part, and I'm assuming he's back due to the Time Eater stuff and other Generations white space nonsense, but if we want to make predictions about this story based off of Generations story, well, maybe this part won't be too crazy. Of course Shadow will be revisiting things from his past, so there is a genuine opportunity here for some good story, but it's up to Sonic Team to capitalize on it, which I'll be hoping they do. I don't want to say for certain that Ian Flynn is writing the story, but he's at least involved to some extent since he posted about it on Twitter, 
And plus, he's involved in some form or another with basically everything Sonic related these days. But if he is writing the Shadow stuff, then, well, actually I'm not entirely sure what to think. I know Shadow in the IDW comics isn't the greatest interpretation of the character, but I'm not sure how much of that is Ian Flynn and how much of that is Sega, so if he is doing the Shadow stuff here, this might be a good opportunity for him to showcase what he's capable of doing with Shadow's character. Because after Sonic Prime, I'm really itching for some more good Shadow characterization. We've always got the third Sonic movie for that too, but hey, why not both? Make Shadow great again! Something I did notice while watching Shadow's gameplay is that it does look visually similar to how Cyberspace and Sonic Frontiers did. And I'm sure they're probably working with the same engine and stuff, so visually it might be similar. But on the other side of that same token, I think these levels, if they really are like Cyberspace, could play really good as long as Shadow actually has good controls. If he controls like Sonic does in Sonic Generations, good. If he controls like Sonic does in Cyberspace, bad. So if I was worried about anything at all for this game, that'd probably be the biggest thing. Sonic's controls, and by extension Shadow's, make up like 90% of how good a level or game feels to play, so I really really hope that the controls aren't a point of contention with Shadow's part of this release. Aside from that, I think gameplay wise, the cyberspace level designers have probably learned a decent amount of what worked in there, especially after the final horizon, so I do think that these levels will at least be better than cyberspace. Please don't let that statement be wrong. Plus they already experimented with reusing level design in cyberspace, so recreating Shadow's old levels again shouldn't result in anything bad, right? R right? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. All I can do is hope for now. Besides the actual level stuff, the bosses looked cool. Not really sure what I'm expecting from those, but fighting the bio lizard will be cool again. As long as I get that supporting me remix that is. And really, that's about it. I'm excited for Sonic X Shadow Generations to say the least, and I'll be even more so once we start to get more info about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get back to playing Persona 3 Reload, so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you next time.